Most human spinal cord injuries typically occur as a result of road traffic accidents, so there's a blunt trauma to the spinal cord. And what happens is the injury gets worse over time, so the injury evolves and you get this dense scar tissue forming in the injury site. So we've used a gene therapy that releases an enzyme called chondroitinase, which breaks down some of the bad components of this scar tissue and enables new, uh, new nerve, nerve fibres to regrow. The novel thing about this gene therapy is that we can control the gene delivery, so we can switch the gene on off. It contains a gene switch, so we can effectively control when we give the gene and for how long. And what we found was that with the gene on for two months, we actually could get recovery of hand function in these spinal injured animals. So rats basically are trained to, to, to sit in a small plastic box um, and they can reach through a, a little slit in that plastic box um, to grab a sugar pellet. And they really, really enjoy doing this task. They really like sugar pellets, um, especially if the sugar pellets are peanut flavored. Um, and so they get, they, we get really good at reaching and grasping for these pellets. What we found um, throughout the study as the weeks went on, um, the treatment group that received a long-term gene therapy treatment uh, were able to retrieve more pellets successfully, but more importantly, they were able to retrieve those pellets really accurately. For patients with a high-level cervical injury, which occurs is, is the most common injury occurs at the neck level, they lose function of all four limbs. So these individuals uh, can no longer use their hands and the top priority for them is getting these functions back. Being able to lift up a coffee cup, being able to hold a toothbrush, being able to wash and dress independently. These are the most important priorities for these individuals so that they can improve their quality of life and independence.